Okay, welcome to um, part one of Battlefield Heroes. This is um, a free-to-play game made by EA, and it's uh, supposedly past the Battlefield franchise, although it doesn't look or I feel like any of the others from the franchise, like Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 2 and whatnot. Um, it is free, but the way they make money out of it is by buying, by you buying content using uh, things like battle funds, which are four pound fifty for eight hundred or something, and so on. And um, you can buy little upgrades to your weapons with them, costumes for your character for some pointless reason, and uh, you get to choose different lengths of how long you can own these weapons and costumes and any other content you want to buy. There's um, you can see the Medal of Honor Tier 1 content on there. So you can buy a... Uh, turn your character into something out of Medal of Honor if you so wished. Not like I see much point in doing that. Anyway, um, on to the gameplay. It's uh, a bit different from your common Battlefield game. It's uh, It logs in reasonably quick and um, you can... The matchmaking is quite quick. As you Okay, so uh, we'll go into weapons and see. So guys, uh, Thompson submachine gun or uh, shotgun. I think we'll have the submachine gun as our primary weapon. And then we're going to use dynamite as a secondary. Probably have the knives and so But um, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll go into store, weapons. We'll look for some form of usable assault rifle. I don't want to spend that much on a gun. Um, I don't want to spend any money on it, so I'll just buy a day's worth of using my valor points, which you earn by playing the game. Simple. So we'll take this up. Thompson out and put this in, and then we'll go into a game. Uh, the irritating thing is you can't change classes during um, during the game, which is not the best, but it's suitable. And I was saying matchmaking is fast, but this is taking a while longer than I'd hoped. Ah, no. So then, look, this should. Uh, loading screens don't take too long, but usually pretty quick compared to all the game. Although knowing my luck this time, this will be quite slow. I'll have put the wrong type of CD in my computer last week, so it'll be not half the speed it usually is. Here we are. It always goes to full screen just as you enter the game, which is irritating on occasions. Um, there's vehicles in this game. Which makes it quite varied. It's quite a uh, quite a bit different, but there's all very cartoony graphics. Cartoons like when you seems as though you're throwing explosions quite cartoony. Um, the perks are quite unrealistic, like the snipers one. You can turn invisible, which is that realistic. But then again, neither does the game. You can tell them. Cartoon and graphics or something. Cartoon movements of players and vehicles. There's a perfect little. Oh, someone's running around. Perfect little purchase for the snack. Missed it. There's only one way to get this one. Oh, yeah, shooting in the tank, that's what it is. So, um, the only grievance I have with this game is. Well, that was fun. Um, is it, it's a bit too hard to kill people. <laughs> I'm not saying it's strange, it's something that people mull about in every game, but if you have a sniper rifle, you don't expect like four shots to get someone. Well, that's. Yeah, the matchmaking's gone a bit worse since I last played this, I'm afraid. So, um. It's not really serious, it's just a fun type game, there's no competitiveness to it. Just 
and there's chats in it, but no one speaks. So, um, it's not too serious, it's just a thing for fun, I mean, just running around here, you know. Yeah, shoot your own teammates, that's, that's gone. It is supposedly a team based game, but as with all Battlefield games, no one plays as a team. But with all COD games, too, so COD's a team game, no one plays as a team. But it does tend to go warm up, especially if you snipe them, which means you lose it. You get a bullet to cloak on, you just mean to say. And then just go sneak around the old commando knife. It does have commando knife, but. The uh, game mode in it is site of domination, you can capture, you can capture flags, stop the enemy capturing flags, etc. etc. Uh, I don't think there isn't a team deathmatch mode in it, but that doesn't really matter. Do because um, domination modes are popular. Um, yeah, thanks for buying tank shell into him and that's it's as realistic as you want to get into it. Oh come on. So it's quite hard to kill people. I mean that's a machine gun, quite an expensive machine gun if I must say. And uh, I've just been killed pretty much instantly by some Jerry with a pistol. Ah, I got him, I think. I think the red means you kill him. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so, um, yeah, obviously this has got a bit more, um, I want to say rubbish since I last played it because the game seemed to end after two minutes. There's, um, not much to do. People seem to camp on top of that lighthouse. Every time you go in that map with a sniper rifle, um, yeah, it's not the best game in the world. Though. Let's see if we can join a fresh one with some proper player. Then uh, it can seem a little bit basic on sometimes. And um, the other little thing that irritates me a little bit is um, is the fact that you can only run this from. At the moment, I have Chrome installed on my computer, Firefox 4 beta. And uh, Internet Explorer 9, and this add on only works with Internet Explorer 9, it just will not work with Firefox 4 or um, Google Chrome, which um, it seems quite stupid. Seeing as the Battlefield Play for Free, the new closed beta that I'm in, can't really say much about it, but um, that works out of Chrome as, an ex as a Chrome extension. So, why can't this, the one that's fully released, why can't I just update it to let that work? It's just um, quite stupid, but anyway. Um, there's new maps added to this game quite regularly, and um, and they're all free, of course. Do they just make the money out of you buying the content? There's been a lot of uproar recently that people are saying this game, pardon me, has been a failure. And uh, not many people are playing it, but the managers come out with some statistics saying that people spend twenty-two dollars a something like twenty-two dollars a month on content for it. Uh, I spent about four pound fifty on it the last two years. And I've I've not really played it in two years. I got had a phase of playing and it just got boring. So um, I decided to move on to greater and better things. I post some gameplay the close beta of Battlefield play for free, but it's against the terms and conditions, so I'm not willing to do that as it's as it would be um, not very moral. Um, the time limits on some of the guns that you can buy is quite unfair, and um, I must say I was saying earlier the matchmaking and logging in process is quick. It's evidently changed and gone worse because of EA sticking the noses in, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say this game's a bit of a fail now. It used to be actually, it used to actually be quite fun, but now it's just, it's just turned into your um, free, basic, cartoony card that doesn't really work on the computer. And it's nothing to do with my computer. I mean, my computer isn't exactly slow. It's not the best, but it's not slow. It's quite fast. So um, I think this has been a bit of a bit of a bit of a disaster, and sort of I hope in this will turn me away from playing the game again because it's uh, rubbish. So I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Or
dislike seeing as there wasn't actually any real gameplay in it. I'll see if I can get um, a Matt one up tomorrow. Mission against Terror, that's, that should be quite good. Never really had any problems with that game. So, uh, thank you for watching.